Well, if you take a step back, specialties don't really make sense for like a bunch of different reasons, but let's go with, with one or two of them. The first is it, specialties presume independence between body systems. And I've never understood this, right? So um, if you have a local issue, I've got something on my skin, great. Go to the dermatologist, you're good to go. But the second you have a complex issue, right? Uh, I actually do. I've got an issue where uh, that manifests um, where my skin has some issues and it turns out I get dizzy. And it turns out that those are the exact same issue. They're a sensitive nerve issue that, it, that manifests with both. Great. What doctor do I go to? Well, you go to the skin, the skin doctor and they push you to the other doctor who pushes you back and push you. Well, it just turns out your body's not all filled with independent systems. Your body's one body, right? So now what do you do? Right. And you see this all the time. Go to any go to any healthcare system and you just see the person get bounced back and forth and bounce back and forth and bounce back and forth. So then you start asking yourself, wait a minute. From first principles, why did we iterate to this? Like, how did we even end up with the specialty concept? And does it make sense? Is it right? And and I'll tell you. Um, it turns out that the uh, the ancient Greeks um, uh, and Romans like totally fucked us on this one. So if you were in Mesopotamia um, back, uh, sorry, this is my history lesson for the day. Um, if you were in Mesopotamia back back in the day, um, and you were fairly, uh, you were part of the aristocratic class, you were fairly wealthy, um, and you wanted to go to school, it's called college. You went to this is what's called. You got a, a liberal arts education. That's where the phrase came from. And it turns out that there were seven subjects, which were called the trivium and the quadrivium, three and four uh, subjects. Now, imagine at the time that these subjects there weren't like a whole bunch of books. So imagine that there were three books and four books. There were seven books laid out on a table, and these were the seven subjects. You read these seven books, and you were the liberal arts scholar. Then somebody a little later keeps researching, and he's like, "But, but I've got some new knowledge." And I want to go put something on one of these stacks. And remember, there's only seven subjects. It's like rhetoric and writing and math, et cetera, right? So they come and they take their body of, of knowledge and they put it on top of one of these books. Now, imagine one of these books is biology. Turns out it wasn't. That one came a few hundred years later, but we'll pretend. So now this biology starts branching out human biology. Human biology branches out and eventually becomes whatever, cardiology and nephrology, et cetera. And you start branching into subjects because the human, the human mind isn't good at understanding everything and researching everything. But that's very different than saying that's how the human body works. Just because you can't learn everything, it doesn't mean that's how we operate. And yet, this is the education system that we've created. The education system, frankly, makes no sense. And so the first thing that we realized is exactly what you and I discussed earlier. We've created a healthcare system that practices by solution, not by problem. That's a mistake. So what we realized is you don't actually want a dermatologist and a, uh, and a cardiologist. What you want is to prevent heart attacks. Now, you might prevent heart attacks by, uh, by changing your diet, by exercising, by you know whatever it is you you want you don't want as for for example like you want a cancer prevention app right uh, or cancer prevention palm now how do you prevent cancer well it might be a vaccine it might be sequencing your DNA it might be putting sunscreen on each of those has different solutions do you see how those cross boundaries those cross domains you've seen this play out in your life so before your iPhone you had a digital camera, you had a Walkman, and you had, um, you had a Garmin GPS unit. Let's just think of each of those as solutions. Then as soon as you got your iPhone, what they do? They, they kind of migrated those over. I had the Maps app, the camera app, and the music app. Again, all very solution specific. But then over time, what they do? Well, they, they kind of realized, like developers realized, yeah, those are solutions. It's more interesting to work on problems. So they started to innovate. And now the most popular apps are, I don't know, TikTok. Well, what is TikTok? Is it the camera app? Is it the music app? Is it the, well, it's kind of all of these combined, right? And what you realize is like, we are too attached to the solution, not attached enough to the problem. And so at Ford, from the beginning, we said, it makes no sense to presume that all these things are independent because that's just not how we operate as humans.